Oh, I'm so lucky to be able to talk to Andy Barber with the Haida, and we're so lucky to have George Stewart back on our Remembrance Day special. Oh, oh it's so again. great to see you, George, because because George, you were the veteran of World War II during uh, during that time. You you flew Mosquito. Yes. You are uh, you are 98 years young. That's right. Turning turning 99 in January. Yes. And but you still have the memories. Well, you know, when you have. Uh, when you have something that is so spectacular, good or bad, it's something you don't forget easily. And uh, for example, when we were flying our operations, we'd have the briefing and they'd have a roster of all the crews that would be on that night with the aircraft number and so forth. And at the bottom, they would have a sp uh, the spare crew in case something happened to one of the crews up above. And one night I was going to go to a a place and uh, uh, my good buddy Ken Eastwood and his navigator Griff Rogers uh, were the spare pilots. I took an air cadet up for a ride. They just loved it. And I flew the airplane around it, tossing it around and so forth. I didn't do aerobatics, but it was next, next to it and came in and landed, just lurched. I thought, my goodness, I finally took off and flew by the tower. And the commanding officer was up there with, uh, with uh, binoculars. He said, George, your starboard tire has blown. If you can bring it in with the gear down, we won't have to change the propellers. I said, OK, sir, I'll give it a try. <laughs> so I came in and I came, touched down on my left tire, let it come back. We, we touched down about 130 miles an hour, usually. And then it came down, and it grabbed and swung me around. The left engine came off, took away everything in front of me. <laughs> the machine guns, the four machine guns, mm. and broke the leg of the air cadet who was sitting beside me on the main spar. Oh, and uh, I came to a stop. And well, I know there's all these memories that you have. Mm -hmm. What do you think about on a day like today, Remembrance Day, who do you think about? Well, I can't help but think about the guys that I flew with. and. Uh, on Remembrance Day, I think about the ones that we lost. For example, we lost my commanding officer, who had a DSO and bar, DFC and bar, Crowdy and Punk, and Czech Metal, who flew Lysanders into occupied Europe at night, picking up and dropping off agents. And he had the DSO and bar, DFC and bar, Crowdy and Palm, and Czech Metal. Czech Metal was for rescuing a Czechoslovakian general who was due to be executed the next day. And uh, these were the kinds of people that I associated with, to me, they were almost holy. They were, they were so incredible. Why are your stories still important to tell? Do you be here to be able to tell them? Well, I have to say, out of memories for some of the ones that I lost, but particularly Ken Eastwood and Griff Rogers, who were the spare pilots when I had my accident. And sadly, they didn't return from that trip. And that was the trip that I was supposed to have taken. It didn't mean that I would have been gone, but they were gone. So that was very hard for me to, uh, to, to deal with. But our, we had a little ditty in our squadron, press on regardless, press on regardless, never mind the weather, press on regardless, we'll all go in together, press on regardless, it's just a piece of cake because you'll never see the Duma or the Stein or the Lake. <laughs> well, press on regardless is what you have been doing for your entire life, and you come here every Remembrance Day, and we're so happy that you, that you do come and join well, us, I'm and we, so appreciate your, we appreciate your service and the stories that you continue to tell. Well, thank you. I just happened to be there, but I was not one of those do-or-die people, uh, kamikaze or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I wanted to live, but uh, we had to do the job. Yeah. And we had to circle a German aerodrome for an hour, letting or two, and letting them know we're there. Well, what a life you have lived! Okay, well, 98 years young, turning 99 in January. We, we're 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 excited to see you back here thank next you year, so George much. Stewart. Thank you for your service oh, so thank much. You very much. And we yeah we want to be telling those stories who served and those that continue to serve. And we'll come back to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum with that story. <laughs>